This question is from Jose. I have done inner engineering online and I live in South America. I have been eagerly wanting to get initiated into Shambhavi and I thought initiation would be denied to me as I can't afford to travel, as I thought the initiation can only be done in person. Last week, you mentioned you could even initiate us online. This filled me with joy as so many people who have been longing for it have this chance now, irrespective of where they are. But may I ask, what changed? Most importantly, how can I make sure I receive this as powerfully as I would in person? I don't want to miss out. Uh, <laughs> well, nothing changed, Jose. Uh, and anyway, we are not initiating online. There is no such thing as offline initiation and online initiation. Initiation process, particularly for Shambhavi, is more like a consecration of a human form. Or if we want to put it in more mechanical terms, you've heard of uh, these days many motors have, or no more induction, but most electric motors are induction motors. That means there is a process of induction. Though there is electricity, though there is a mechanism, still it doesn't go unless induction happens. So this is like an induction. Does this happen offline or online? There's no such thing. As I've said repeatedly many times probably, I have initiated more people who I have never seen in my life than people whom I have seen. This doesn't mean I initiated them online, this happened well before online came, this has been happening forever. The important thing is just this, the entire program, the physical programs we've been conducting or now the online programs we're conducting, essentially is about knocking on your door. How much knocking do you need on your head? is different from person to person. There was a time when uh, our initiations had long preparation. We were going through a thirteen-day program preparing people to be initiated because that was a different sort of initiation which now is happening as a secondary program in the form of shunya. At that time, the basic program was shunya, so we need thirteen to fourteen days. Without that, we could not do it because we needed that level of openness. And also <laughs> the bounty of nature comes to you even if you're not willing. But Subtler dimensions of life come to you only in your willingness. Even if it's there, you will not experience it. See, right now there is rain for me, you <laughs> you, you don't have it. <laughs> so, all programs, let's look at it this way, all programs are just a knock on the door. When we… see, if we want to make you open the front door, talk, 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 but some of you peep out of the hole and say, who is that? Say, no, I'm Sadhguru. No. <laughs> what do you want? No, I don't even want to enter your house, but just open the door. If you just open the door, I'll go away. No. Who is this guy saying, open the door? What do you want? No, I don't want anything. Then you're really dangerous. You don't want anything? <laughs> when I was in Lebanon, maybe most… Uh, maybe Lebanese people know but others will not know, is uh, there is a queen in Lebanon. Well, no more… Uh, political authority or any kind of authority, but a small palace and a queen and there's a social status attached to the queen. 
So I got invited for a lunch there with a lot of prominent people in Lebanon in the lunch and I went there to speak and to eat. When I went there, I met one interesting guy who's... who's a really man about in the society, Mr. Bunbury. You know what's Bunbury? No, 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 it's okay. Uh, then uh, we got into conversation. After I spoke and then ate and then, you know, individual conversations happening here and there. So this guy was an interesting guy, we were talking and then he said, See Sadhguru, the problem with you is, you don't want money. If you say, we, I want... I've come here to make money, we will trust you. <laughs> the moment you say, I don't want money, then we are suspicious of you. We are very straightforward. If you say, I've come here to make money, we understand because you and me, same. You suddenly say you don't want money, then what do you want? Well, maybe I don't need anything, that's even worse. Mm -hmm. We have always been suspicious of people who don't want anything because they will bring another dimension and trouble us <laughs> I thought that was very interesting because that's true. You know, you remember inner engineering introduction, free introduction. You never understood that it'll cost you life <laughs> It cost my life too <laughs> So... <laughs> so it's free, means there are many things to it. You need to understand this, this is the nature of dimensions beyond physicality. In physicality, everything is transactional. You give this, I give that. You take this, I take that. It's a world of give and take, which has its usefulness, which has its own pleasures and beauty to it. But transactional world is one thing, transformational world is of a different nature. So what is initiation is a transmission. For transmission, actually you don't need any understanding. Because today <laughs> you've gone through this schooling and you read the textbook. Because of that, you have this idea, unless I understand something, I cannot do it. That means you will never do anything significant in your life, never ever. Because what you understand, the very word understand means, it's always less than you, isn't it? You cannot understand something which is beyond you but you can experience what is beyond you. Right now you can experience the sunlight. It is beyond you, isn't it? Can you turn it on, turn it off? It is beyond you, but you can experience it. This life is beyond you, but you can experience it. So if you are in this mindset, if I do not understand, I will not do it, well, <laughs> you will do just rudimentary stuff in your life. So, initiation is a transmission. Without transmission, there is no transformation. And transmission is not a transaction. A teaching is a transaction. In some way, it is a transaction. So, the programs that you have gone through are kind of transactions. Sit there, talk to you, you ask question, I answer you, and you ask one more question, I answer you. For that, you ask another question. Oh, how many have you asked? I am showing such enthusiasm to pick up every question and hit the ball every time with full enthusiasm, not because I think it is a great question, it's a dumb question. <laughs> but I know that is the way you open your door, that is your code, I must do tuk 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 tuk. <laughs> then you open the door. Who is it? A familiar voice you'll open the door. Unfamiliar voice, maybe it's God, but you will not open the door. Because you're that kind, we have programs and programs and more stupid programs. This virus, phew, gone. 
all programs gone. So now uh, we're just waiting that this constant threat of mortality and uh, you know, as Allama said, once you have money in your head, we can't talk to you. I hope money stays in your pocket, it's necessary, but maybe it will drain out of your head because you have money in the bank, but you can't travel anywhere, you can't spend on anything. If Amazon was not there, you would have realized much sooner. <laughs> much sooner, but you're shopping and still you're thinking your money is doing the thing. If that one thing was not there by now, so many would have realized, you know? So realization is slowly happening, willingness is slowly happening. As this willingness happens, knocking on the door becomes less and less relevant. The transaction of teaching and trying to make you willing will become less and less relevant. This I found, you know, in a very stark and painful way, I realized this. When I first went into... Uh, uh, to conduct a prison program, now it's mandatory in southern India in all the prisons happening, even during this pandemic, our teachers are doing the online programs in the prisons in southern India. We did some here also in United States. When I went there, I just realized, uh, I announced a ten-day program, thinking I will do a basic, simple program, uh, thinking because most of the people in the prison, many of them have… Uh, you know, almost everybody is a school dropout, ninety percent of them, many of them have never been to school, language, all these issues, how much they can understand. But when I went there, I… what I was supposed to teach in ten days, I was done in two days. Then what to do? I did Bhava Spandana in another two days, I did Samyama right there. Everything, all these programs which happen in different stages for the free people who are imprisoned by themselves. For the imprisoned, I could do everything. Within a few days, six, seven days, everything over. After that, we were just together enjoying each other's company and absolutely joyful, fantastic atmosphere out there in ten days' time. All programs got over in a brief time because no knocking was needed. The only problem in the prison is the door is not open. Tch, somebody else has closed it home, you have closed it, so you don't realize. In your heart, you have closed it, so you don't realize. In your mind, you have closed it, so you don't realize. When somebody else has closed the door upon you, the only thing that you want is door open. Yes or no? Only thing that you want in your life is door open. This is what I realized with the prisoners, convicts. They… if you look at their things that they have done, terrible things they have done, but they became such fantastic spiritual material for transmission, boom, it just went like that. Even now, they're writing to us, writing poetry, programs have been going on for over twenty years now in the prisons. Many of them who are there for life or in India, unfortunately, there are many people who are sitting on the death row and waiting for over ten, fifteen years. Their lives are fully transformed because Opening the door was the only thing that they wanted. Now you are very cautious about opening the door. As mortality knocks from… not from outside but from inside, now opening the door becomes natural. So this is one part of it. Another part of it is the preparatory part. Preparation is… one thing is on the level of the body, which our teachers, our Ishangas, We'll do it with small groups of people online, taking much more time. What was being done in about three, four hours' time will be done in much more elaborate way to ensure that practices, preparatory practices get across. And uh, knocking, we will knock you more than we were knocking when we were in physical presence. See, even when I sat with you, Hello, is the camera getting my hand on? <laughs> Secret messages were going. I don't know, catch you, 
No, don't use the phone. Don't look here, don't look there, be here, be here, be here. No, Sadhguru, I'm just writing down your words only, I'm just putting it on my phone. No, 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 it's not about that, just be here. Doesn't matter you don't understand a damn thing, just be with me. We told you this and you thought, what is this nonsense? He wants me to look at his face all the time. What does he think of himself? All these things we have gone through. All kinds of obscenities a guru has to go through. Because anything that you do, the way it works, they have their own idea, but it's okay. It's okay because it's worked. It's okay because it's worked, otherwise it's not okay. So now, knocking on the door, we are making it in a different way, more elaborate way to ensure... See, even when you were in a group, we had to do so many things. Volunteers have to prevent you from uh, an endemic urinary problem. <laughs> Hello? You want to pee every five minutes. Yes, <laughs> you don't know this. <laughs> to keep your attention, so many things had to be done. Now we are doing this preparatory step, now we are reducing the transmission time. Even there, transmission time was limited. We are doing all the drama to get your doors open. Now, if you don't open your door, most probably you will anyway not come for the initiation, all right? That's a good thing. We don't have the problem of chucking you out. We don't have the problem you came for a... for a five, six hour program, somebody comes two hours late and they think it's their right, constitutional right to enter the place. We are facing this big argument, sometimes we call the law enforcement to deal with them. All those problems gone. If you're not interested, you're not there, that's all. It's fine with me? If you're not there, it's your problem. So if you're there, we are compressing this time in such a way, your focused, intensely focused time is just three to four hours in the entire program. The other things also you must learn, because the other things are like going from class to class in the school, because if you don't know those things, they won't take you to the next class. So the teachers will make sure that you know the preparatory steps well. The initiation part will anyway be only twenty, thirty minutes, but the session may be three hours or four hours. We are seeing technology-wise, we are still exploring various methods with which Every hundred participants could be monitored by a dedicated volunteer, seeing that all of them are focused. There are some issues to talk to them, stay focused, stay focused, don't go to the bathroom now. You must see the incredible thing. After going through seven days of program, we've been telling them continuously, see all this circus is only to initiate you. Just when initiation is happening, simply uh, somebody gets up, what? Well, some volunteer stop. What? I want to go to the bathroom. <laughs> well, just now you went and came. No, I like to go once again. <laughs> this is called karma. Because inside your compulsions rule you. We don't have to go through these obscenities. If you go to the bathroom, you go. All right? You just won't get it. That's up to you. If that's your choice, it's fine with me. So, openness to create the necessary door opening, we are doing many things. If you sit there, now that you are in Peru, huh? what is this? Peru? Now you are in Peru and you are thirsty, you are not a problem. I'm sure you will come and sit there ten minutes ahead of me, waiting. If you are like that, you are not a problem. I am not initiating you online, I'm just initiating you individually as a person, which is how it is always done. There is no offline, online. Initiation is a direct transmission. It will happen that way and it will be as effective as ever. Only thing is, your family, your pets, your children, husband, wife must be kept out. You are absolutely there with the process. Well, we will ensure it works wonderfully well without your neighbor screaming, your neighbor falling on you, something else happening in the crowded class, all those problems gone just by yourself as it should have been.
actually is ideal condition. If you are absolutely open, in fact, it is a much better condition than an assembly of five, ten thousand people. Five, ten thousand people, there are many issues which are hard to manage. Now, uh, I think these are better times in that way. You're sitting by yourself, you're thirsty. If you're not, you're in the bathroom, it's okay. <laughs> It'll work wonderfully well.